Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for joining me. When the Bible tells us about its heroes, it describes them warts and all. The Bible never seeks to cover the sins, the weaknesses, the faults, the foibles of its great men. For instance, Noah, it said that he found grace, he was a righteous man, but yet still, he was a drunkard. Abraham is described as a friend of God, and yet still, he was a liar. Look at David, King David, who killed Goliath and became Israel's greatest king, who wrote most of the Psalms. Look at him. He took another man's wife. He committed adultery with her. And when he found out he got her pregnant, he had her husband killed. Look at Israel, the nation of Israel. They were a rebellious people. They continuously tested God. When God led them out of, Israel, out of Egypt through the wilderness, they rebelled. God had to send the fiery serpents he sent plagues against israel and yet still god says in numbers 23 i have not seen iniquity in jacob why is that even in the new testament peter the disciple the beloved apostle he denied jesus three times and yet still jesus appeared to him after the resurrection and he told him to go and feed his sheep. Why is that? Well, as human beings, we're aware of our weaknesses, our sins and our guilt. But God is a gracious and merciful God. He doesn't leave us in our sins. He doesn't overlook our sins because God is a righteous God. He's a God of judgment. But when God sees in us the eye of faith, God looks at us as precious, not because we're great, but because God is gracious and merciful. And when we repent, when we see our guilt, when we say sorry to God, we turn to him. God is a, a gracious and merciful God. God is a forgiving God. We wouldn't throw away a piece of gold, a precious piece of gold, because we saw something unclean on it. And yet still, it's the same with God. Although God is a righteous and holy God, he doesn't throw away his people. Because in Romans 5 and verse 20, we read, where sin abounded, grace abounded much more. There's only one person in the Bible who didn't sin, and that's our Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ. He is holy, harmless, undefiled and separate from sinners. But yet still, believer, be encouraged. Don't take your sins lightly. Do what these men did when they sin. Confess it. Be sorry that you've offended and grieved your heavenly father. If you confess your sin, the Bible says, he's faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us all in righteousness. Being the way we are, we look at our sins more than we do look upon God. One man said, for every time you look at yourself, take 10 looks at Christ. So although we can be despondent, discouraged, downcast, when we look at how much we sin, how far we are from what we are supposed to be, we are to look at Look at the Lord, not look at ourselves. We don't take our sins lightly, but we put our confidence in him because the Bible says that he who has begun a good work in us will complete it until the day of Christ Jesus. While we're here in the world, we're aware of our falling short, our sins, the times we grieve God. But that's not the end of the story. God's promise, that's, that's not the end. He's working us working in us that which is pleasing in his sight. So the Bible paints the picture of the whole person, 
warts and all. So if you're a Christian, don't be disheartened, don't be discouraged when you see how full, how short you fall of God's expectations of you because that's the lot of all the people of God all down through the ages. And, it, and there's a word of encouragement for you if you're an unbeliever because you might despair of your sins, your guilt before God. But God promises us that when we confess, he receives all who come to him. Jesus says, if you come to me, I will by no means drive you away. If you say sorry to God, God can forgive you, cleanse you and transform you. So be encouraged. The Bible says where sin abounds, grace abounds much more. Why? Because Jesus his death on the cross paid the price to take away our sins. What we couldn't do for ourselves, God did for us. Thank you.